All right, apparently it's the apocalypse because there's nobody anywhere. We're the only people in Kerala, <laughs> in strong. Kochi today. Yep. So, but it's eight o'clock. It's hot and sticky and humid. And we're gonna head to find some breakfast. There's a person. Hi, excuse Morning. me. Uh, do you, how far is to the, uh, how much to the Chinese fishing? Chinese fishing net? Yeah. 100. 100 total. Okay. Let's take it. This one? Yeah. All right. All right, let's take a ride on the wild side. First to trip ride in India of this trip. Yeah. Wow, look at that. A big old ship. Cool. A big ship and a little ship. Sissel. Oh, wow. Some fishing nets over there, too. We're on Big Tree Street here. We've got a big tree. Everywhere. I feel like I'm in an avatar right now. Yeah, we're an avatar. There's a big tree here. I think they call this the Buddha tree. All right. I don't know why they call it the Chinese fishing nets. Um, oh, I'm gonna get hit. All right. I don't know why they call it the Chinese fishing nets, but we're at this fishing net place, and this guy is beckoning me over. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Chinese fishing net. Chinese fishing net. Where are you from? Uh, USA. Come on, start here. Why do they call it Chinese fishing net? This one generation is 700 years old. 730 years old. Wow. No. Okay. So they use these big rocks attached to these wooden things. And uh, the net is in the water now. But eventually. The rocks will weigh it down and they'll bring the net up and see if they caught anything. Alright, he was just telling me there's six people that that do this work, six different families, and every morning they start at 6 a.m. There's a lot of sixes in here for some reason. Here they go, they're going to start to do their work. Hopefully I don't get shucked. And uh, here come the rocks down. Sounds like they're doing some sort of chanting. Cool. While they're doing this, it's big nets coming up. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. All right, I'm going out. Hopefully I don't slip into the mucky waters of Kochi. Oh, sorry. Trying not to be in the way. All right, I'll stand over here. Watch this. Ah, they got a bunch of little fishes in there. Small ones. Do you ever get big fish? Big fish is sometimes. Sometimes, not too often. No bad. Here. All right. No Did you used to get send it? Okay. Oh, cool! Look at that. Ah, oh, they're they're taking your fish. You crow eating small one. Okay. Did you used to get bigger fish many years ago? Sometimes. Sometimes. You're a snapper, white snapper, is barracuda. Oh, okay. Barracuda. This one Chinese that is European is very famous. And so, did it used to be like this style of fishing was? Uh, adopted by the Chinese. Chinese is net is China. The net is China. This one here making is a Indian, Portugal. Oh, okay. Your net is a Chinese fishing net. European is very famous. Oh, okay. You put in the first time here. First time, yeah. Look, it's a counter balance stone. Okay. Yep. Here there come the six stones. People, six family. Okay. It's less fish, less money. No good. Your best fishing is a monsoon is better, June, July, Prime. Okay. 
Only two rich, good people coming, very happy. So this season, in one day, how yeah. many fish you catch? Whole season is one day, monsoon, 50 kilo, 60 kilo. Oh, monsoon. What about now, dry? Oh, one, two, three kilo. Three kilo, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes. And how much you get for one kilo? Small fish is different. One okay. kg, 300, we, we gone 500. Oh, okay. The less fish. So, so average 400 rupee oh, per kilo. Sometimes. Okay. 500. Uh, Sometimes 500. 400. Okay. So monsoon, prawn, crab is better. Okay. So I guess 500 rupee per kilo. And if you get 3 kilo a day, that's 1500 rupee, which is like um, 20 bucks. That is a uh, European is very famous. Okay. You good, good tourists is coming very happy. Okay. USA, England, Australia. You get a lot of tourists here. Tourists are coming, <laughs> camera photo looking very yeah. happy. Great. Do some tip beer. Okay. Do six people, six families. I see. Very good. Do all people are married. Do student study. How many hours a day do you work out here? One, ten years. Ten years? And how many hours in one day? One day is morning you... 6 a.m. start? start after 11 o'clock finish. Okay. One day, Maybe five 50, hours. 70 kilo. 70 times full. Oh, 70 kilo? No, 70 oh. times. Oh, 70 times. Wow. Two minutes, two minutes. Wow, wow. This one very really hard work. Yeah, hard work. All right, he gave me a good show. It's tip time. Tip time. Okay. Thank you, sir. Six people. Yeah. The small money here. All right, I gave him 250 rupee. He was not too happy with that. But I thought it was decent, right? Yeah, for just like for doing a performance. Five minutes. St. Francis Church of Cochin, the oldest church in Kerala. This is the Vasco da Gama tomb. Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese navigator who was here in 1502 and died. I guess he's buried here in this old, old church. Things open, but now before they getting the dogs, some bringing people all sleeping here. Oh, I see. So that's the time so the close. So this is the Dutch cemetery. There was a lot of Dutch influence here, I guess, in Kochi, and there were a lot of Christians here too, like forty percent of the population Christian. Oh, where did you read that? Wikipedia. Oh. The people who settled here from China in the half of the second century. Okay. That is the history of Qin. Qin means Chinese and that Po is stand for the captain of our Chinese ship that is Shinko. So the Chinese came first so the Chinese and established the Cochin Kingdom? It's a Chinatown later the Portuguese bloom into the European town. So Cochin ah. people means the people who follow the culture of China. Oh wow. The Chinese people and their culture and the Chinese were here in the half of the second century. Okay. So the culture of Chinese means Cochin. Oh, what do you mean? Fishing. Oh, fishing. So the culture of Chinese <laughs> means fishing. The Chinese no. are not here, but you can see the culture of Chinese. Sure. What is the culture of Chinese? Yeah, fishing. Not only fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so the culture of Chinese, that's why you drink a tea in the morning. Oh, Chinese. Masala tea. It's not masala tea, that is spices tea. Spices means? Masala. No. <laughs> spices is not about masala. Do you know the value of pepper? No. I don't know the value of pepper, that's why here I just explain it's me, our pepper, 
that is in our kitchen cabinet. 350 gram of pepper is equal to 5 kilogram of gold. Can you afford? No. no. <laughs> Invention. That's why we have a history of Kuchi. But you can't understand. So bamboo comes from China. All right, we got a very passionate history lesson from the guy at the museum uh, who liked to tell us one thing and then we say it back and then he says, nope, wrong, but it was entertaining. Yeah, my favorite was, what is Chinese? And he's like, it is fishing. And then later on, he's like, what is Chinese? And Jeff was like, fishing. He's like, no, it is spices. <laughs> tea. <laughs> yeah, tea. <laughs> So this is the Joby Kana. The Dutch started this in like around 1720. Wow, it's very forceful. Yes. <laughs> this is the heartbeat of the floor. Okay. That heart's beating. <laughs> so they wash it all by hands. They used to wash the Dutch, Dutch uniforms here. And uh, here's the ground. And I guess they dry it here. Yeah, take take photo. So he was saying they charge about 30 rupees for a piece of clothes to do the whole washing and drying. Maybe 20 for a small one, 40 for a big a big piece. Locals can come here and get their clothes laundered. So no clips, no clips. just between the ropes. Ah. So most of the people who work here, they yeah, work there their whole life. Yeah, the life. That's like one community. That's from young to old. Yeah, oh, it's one community. Old, yes. I see. It's with you. We can take it. All right. Try to do your sound bath. Do the meditation ball. Ah, yeah, you're getting good. Professional. See, madam is not in a right position. She having a bag on her. She's standing, <laughs> but still, she's doing good. She's doing good. How much is this one? This will be expensive than these ones. Like, I can give you the idea in dollars. Okay. He's a musician. He's a musician. Yeah. Then he, can, he can understand these things. And he's doing meditation also. <laughs> so, uh, it will be $85. I see. This, this. Handmade. Handmade. All right, our tuk-tuk driver brought us to this handicraft shop. It was part of the tour, you know. Take a look. They get paid some commission. And we're seeing a lot of stuff. Wow, this goat is very pregnant. And this one impregnated. What a cute couple. We're gonna destroy this, it looks delicious. Really good. Liked you. I did. I, I gave him a good scratchy scratch on his head with my nails. So. <laughs> See if it comes up to you again. Scratch me. It's a baby. We are at a Kathakali dance performance, which is a specialty of this region of Kerala. And I guess the story is from the Mahabharata. Can't pronounce the name. <laughs> Take again. <laughs> and they're doing their makeup right now. It's like part of the ritual of the show is watching them get into character. Mm -hmm. 
wake up time. Thank <laughs> you. 